Anna, my daughter, the year we spent on the road gave me time to think about things. Respect, responsibilities, duties. They all mean nothing compared to what's important. My family, you. I'm sorry, I only got it now. I'll go through this snow-covered graveyard with a sieve if that's what it takes to find the cure. As for Artyom, he feels his guilt. He wants to atone. I'll just have to see that atonement doesn't cost him his life. The important part is that I'm back in Metro, and no mutant can stop me here. Radiation on the surface is different, though. Frankly, I thought I was buying a one-way ticket for myself going in. You said you were close, but why do you need the Institute? You are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. But now, thanks to the green stuff given to us by Kirill, we both have a chance to achieve the goal and survive. So, Private, our team left. I'd better get ready to set out, too. What about me, Colonel, sir? You'll stay here. I'm putting you in charge of communications. I need someone to coordinate the operation. Can you handle the responsibility? Yes, sir. I can. Good. By the way, Private, how did you live here before the riots, when there was still enough green stuff to go around? Uh, we did all right. But my dad was always out on a mission or a patrol. So you barely saw him? Oh, no. Dad did his best to come home earlier, especially on the holidays. We even spent the last New Year's together. As I sit in Kirill's shelter, listening to his story, the picture of life in Novosibirsk Metro starts coming together, piece by piece. And it turns out to be not too different from what I got used to back in Moscow. Common citizens live their common lives, while people with power and skills protect those civilians from the dangers of this world. Sometimes fighting heroically for all to admire, but more often slaving somewhere out of the way, doing things like burning off the slime and worms, eating away at the systems, keeping the whole metro alive. Colonel, sir, the maintenance guys asked to remind you to burn all the slime around the pumps once you reach them. Uh oh, I say the slime is done for. Colonel Klebnikov himself is taking up the flamethrower. <laughs> Don't jinx it. As for flamethrower, where is it? Here you go, Colonel, sir. Mind you, it's quite heavy. I know. Is it pressurized? Should be, but I'd still check. The handle's on the side. Give it a pump or two if needed. Ah, uh, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Give Slime some hell, too. We'll do just that, sir. We certainly will. Break a leg! Break both! Oh, thanks! to all groups. I just saw a fully grown worm, so watch out. Alder, red one here. Roger that. Red two, roger. Red three, roger that, sir. Good.
Sir, how is it going on your side? Everything fine? Yes, pretty much. What's up with you? Oh, my flame won't hold the pressure. And I can't find a leak for the life of me. Do you have any spare fuel? I didn't expect that shit to grow so thick here. Of course I do, sir. Help yourself. Here. Nice. Thank you. I heard helping the commanding officers is good for your career. Also, that ship did grow like crazy. Ah, I think I got it. <laughs> I really did. All right, I'll go catch up with the guys. Good hunting, sir. You too.
foreman calls me over. Still raw from the chilling out the Oscon big we gave him, yeah? You could see it by his walk and the way his pants still smoked. So he calls me over and he says, I don't care how you do it, but the pumps must work. So I say, where am I supposed to get the O-rings? The slime just rots them and the pumps break down. And he just says he don't give a fuck. Can you imagine such an asshole? And I just go, so, are you telling me to steal them from another station? You know as well as I do, they don't make them no more. Or, or do you think I'll just shoot all my green stuff at once and go topside to get it? You want the results, you either get me the parts or go... Uh, well, I told him to fuck himself. So he just turns all red and shouts, no green stuff for you this month. And I go, really? Then I'm doing no work this month. Fix the pumps yourself, you asshole. So that was it for that job.
sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Great. Thank you. Gentlemen, you did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Frankly, we were on sweep-up duty after you, sir. Ah, cut that. Sweep-up duty, sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. <laughs> great. We'll get out of those suits and go rest. Certainly, sir. Thank you, sir. So what was I, uh... Oh, I remember now. I wonder how much radiation did we just soak up? Well, it's all ours now. Don't sweat it. We're gonna get some extra allowance on that pickup. They'll give us shots at the checkpoint. It's not that I'm sweating, it's just I'm thinking if I should just take it like this and spend it. I guess we could have a few drinks. It is New Year's Eve after all. And spend tomorrow puking our guts out because of radiation poisoning? Fuck that! You're right. I really could go for a few drinks though. We could still do that. I have a few ampules of green stuff stashed away just for such occasions. <laughs> now we're talking. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. I'll call them. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. Come aboard, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Hey guys, get aboard! We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Hey, uh, uh, no. Please, I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasny Prospect. <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? 
No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we move to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. Ha! <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. And see, the pumps are failing. It's because of that slime. And they've been working non-stop for 20 years. Ah, and now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter-flooding system will give up the ghost. <laughs> we'll have to row boats here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too! Please, spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. And don't forget, after the official ceremony, we'll be waiting for you and Kirill to drop by, as usual. We'll be there. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir, please proceed. The General is expecting you. But General, sir, they won't go back. That place is too hot, and there are too many mutants. With all due respect, sir, I can't order them. They are civilians, and... I don't need your excuses, Captain. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir! Hello, sir. Oh, Slava! I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you were out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes. Stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now... I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? Right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. I better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer, unless... How about some tea? <sighs> you do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Sir Yoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him. Almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well.
He's growing up a real man, an Oscom fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? <laughs> he still doesn't understand many things and idealizes us. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is complicated. You must do certain things. And then look into his eyes thinking, would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero slava isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Mm, maybe. But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. Oh, come on. Such a soppy load of crap. Oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy professor, Maria Ivanovna, told us that. But I say they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. Did this ever work differently? Do they always? All right. You got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity. If they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. <laughs> that was deep. Philosophical like. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course too. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. Hate making public addresses, but the occasion calls for it. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Should I go for brothers and sisters here? Nah, that's just too tacky. Year 2034 is coming to an end. Nah, I don't like this. Year 2034 is almost over. Yes, that's better. It wasn't an easy year, but all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. Huh, well this part seems fine. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better, and it is sure to arrive. Something's missing here. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better, and it is sure to arrive through our concerted effort as a community. <laughs> Much better. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Well, this will have to do, I guess. <sighs> Let's read it all once more. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from our... Happy New Year! Give your guys to Kirill. Colonel, sir! Hello, Colonel, sir! A Happy New Year to you! Happy New Year. On duty tonight, I feel for you. You know, sir, it could have been worse. Yeah, at least guarding the green stuff storage isn't a hard job, really. Though I hope nobody's planning the heist of this century on New Year's Eve, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Well, good night to you. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Come on, poor, we're gonna be late! 
What do you mean, Grisha? There's a lot of time left. Besides, you're already tipsy. No, no, no. Grisha's right. We're going to be late drinking to... to friendship. Ah, yes, friendship. I guess... Let's drink to things this year staying same as they were last year. Only much better. Yes! One great drink! Oh, not bad. Oh, kind of rough! Ooh, Oscom, our valiant protector. We should drink to your health. Sorry, I just can't. I'm still on duty. You go ahead, though. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I guess next time. Happy New Year. Did we already drink to the New Year? We started with it. It can't hurt to drink to it twice. Hello, sir. There's too many people in the way. You can't really go through. You'd better go up through the restaurant and get to the gallery from there. Thanks. Happy New Year. Same to you, Colonel, sir. Ah, uh, you know what I'm missing to get into proper festive mood? Like before the war. Oranges. Ah, oh, damn! Why did you have to remind me? Now I'll spend the whole night thinking about them. Ha! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that I've been thinking about them non-stop for three days already. Perhaps we could think about them together. You know, Vanya, you're so self-centered, it's amazing. Why am I even in love with you? Because of my immense charm, of course. It <laughs> could well be so. Ah, sometimes I think kids have it easier. They don't even know the things they're missing. Like the oranges, you don't even see that color anymore. And the smell? The taste? Damn. I'm just not in the festive mood at all. They're always late with green stuff deliveries. And this time, they didn't even give some for the New Year's. We're barely making ends meet. How can I be happy? You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! Look, Tanya, I just... So this is the new year? Your children have nothing to eat, and you drink your wages oh, away! I love you so much! Oh, oh come nice. on, Tanya! Come on! Just look! Look at what your son has to wear! Look at what I have to wear! There's no food at home! Do you understand that? I am in debt to everyone! I can't even look the neighbors in the eye! Do you even care about us? You're a disgrace! You drunk everything away! All the green stuff you got! Perfect! They didn't give much, the greedy bastards. And anyway, come on! It's the New Year's! You scum! Slime! Drunkard! A disgrace! Why did I ever marry you? <laughs> oh, oh, come on, Tanya. Please don't. Don't cry, Tanya, please. Oh, Colonel, oh, sir. No Hello thanks. there. Of course. Tell me, Colonel, whatever do I do with this woman, huh? First of all, you should quit drinking. Uh, yes, I will, sir. Colonel, uh, I am not drinking no more tonight. Oh, I love oh. you so much. Oh, right. Got it. We are celebrating here. Come join us, sir. Carry on. I'm going home. Happy New Year. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Give our regards to Kirill. Thank you. Happy New Year, sir. Thanks. By the way, it's been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third company. Do you know the guy? 
The one with big ears. He also keeps telling ancient jokes all the time, don't he? <laughs> What's up with him? Something is, for sure. They sent him topside to guard the construction crews. Construction crews? Are they building a new storehouse? No, the road. Which one? Damn, the secret one! Ah, you could have told! Shh, loose lips sink ships! The enemy listens! Or actually the friend, which is even worse! <laughs> Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Same to you, Misha. How about a drink? The first one is on the house tonight. Uh, tempting, but no thanks. Suit yourself. You could drop by later, once you put your kid to sleep. We'll be open till dawn. Thank you. I just might. Look, one day we are going to go outside, are we not? We're not moles to live out our lives underground, you know. Ha <laughs> ha! What a surprise! Drink to the new year with us, Colonel, sir! Hello, sir! Join us, please. We'd be happy. Uh, sorry, guys, but I gotta get home see my son. Happy New Year to you all! Ah, uh, thank you, sir! Thank you, Happy sir! Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you, too! So, say we go outside and meet the army. Some units must have remained. I can't believe we're the only ones. So, you meet. And they ask you to introduce yourself. So you say, I'm Major Bikov. And they go, Huh, that's real weird, like. We do have Lieutenant Bikov listed in this book here. But no Major. So you should take those extra stars off and stick them where the sun don't shine. Ah, that's bullshit. Really? They could court-martial you for being an imposter of a captain. Bah, what the hell is up with that? What army are you talking about? We would have heard if it was around. It's been 20 years. Every unit is either just like us at this point, or turned to a regular gang, or just disbanded. And to think there could still be documents, much less someone who'd actually care about them after all this time? Ah. You're shitting me, you know it. Don't even bet an eye. Even if we do meet someone, nobody would give a shit about stars and titles. Now all that matters is if you can do your job. Can you project authority, ensure discipline, carry out orders, the important stuff? We're way past bureaucracy, really. Why do you think it all came out the way it did? The cities got smashed, that's obvious. But you can't really smash the military with one strike. It's a sea of people, weapons, vehicles, a real force. And a force like that has to matter, and always does. Some units would have remained untouched by the attack, rolled out and started gathering the remainders of the others. Then they'd go ahead and... and... Run out of fuel with no hopes of getting any more? All the while, Private Ivanov just won't stay in the unit. He'd rather go back to his home village of middle of nowhere to check on his mob. So what can you do about that? The food reserves are running low, and how do you resupply? The civilians would first give you some, then start hiding it, then start shooting you in the back. And when it becomes obvious that nuclear winter is coming, your unit is bound to disband itself, leaving just a few disjointed gangs behind. There's chaos, insubordination, desertion, marauding, banditry all around. Each of your commander's orders is dumber than the one before, and then all leadership vanishes like it was never there in the first place. You saw it all happen. Nobody knows what to do, everybody acts on initiative, and the next moment you know, another lieutenant just like you becomes your sworn enemy because he wants the same tanker of fuel you're eyeing. You don't need me to tell you this. Do you think it was different anywhere else? I'm telling you, we were lucky to have found a shelter. That's true. 
We were. How about we drink to luck? Ah, yes. Ooh, ha. Oh, here goes. I don't like this mood. Let's drink. Let me at least hug you. Not now. Look, there's people around. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop that. Really? Nobody's even looking. Yeah, right. They all are. Cut it out, you stud. Don't be like that. Just a little. What's the hurry? Later. Later? When exactly? Soon enough. After the celebration. Oh, come on. I can't wait. <laughs> Just wait a bit longer, you stud. Aren't you dressed yet? After taking so long? It's been almost an hour already! But I can't go out looking like a scarecrow. I've got to wear makeup and You're plenty beautiful as you are! Put something on and let's go! I bet you didn't expect an ambush here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your Sidra? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There's just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see... I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Ah, oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on! Mission accomplished! Good job, Private! Thank you! Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow, the tree is so beautiful. Yes, listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year, but all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better and it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a Happy New Year! Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, Happy New Year! Oh, damn, this sucks the damn generator is out again.